Okay, we're at Best Buy instead. They have really nice palm trees here, by the way, but I don't know, I don't, I'm just killing time. It's actually a pretty neat Polaroid, Mandalorian Polaroid thing. That's kind of neat. Um, I don't see any Lego right now, but uh, I was thinking I should actually look at a 4K gaming monitor for my PS5. So I'm gonna see if they have anything like that. I wonder if I could use something like this with my dongle on my phone and have better uh, my quality for like reviews. I mean, it also probably wouldn't hurt to get one of these like phone light things or something. I've been looking at those like occasionally online. I just saw them in store and now I'm tempted. So maybe I'll do more research, but a lot of this stuff looks like it'd be good. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you need if you're just starting a YouTube channel. Just a simple like light like this would go a long way. They actually have a more substantial Lego area than I thought they would. They got all the Mario stuff, but uh, no followers, battle packs, you know. That's on sale. That's kind of a nice price. Same for that uh, hidden side set. See, they got the cool summer sets like Anakin Starfighter. And the clone army gets bigger today, fellas. Uh, I found this on Mercari. They had it in a big lot, but they actually allowed you to buy them separately if you wanted. And so I bought all the guy had for, I want to say about 12 to $15 each. I don't remember exactly how much, but 332nd Troopers, genuine Lego, of course, 10 of them extra for the uh what clone army now that comes out in a week or two so pretty hyped to have more of those for the army because i was originally only going to have two to go with all my file first troops so now having more is pretty nice got everything set up to record the bad bricks pod this week we have sans on as our guest uh for timmy and i so should be a fun one i love the thumbnail i made for this it's got sans and a flyer hat or whatever it's ridiculous but it worked hey cam you want to be in a video yeah. Let's see. What do you? What does he have to say? What do you have to say? Um, what's popping? <laughs> hey, tell him you're gonna beat Corey one on one in every sport. Yeah, I will. Cause Corey sucks. Look at Matt's hair. <laughs> it looks too. I know it's ugly. I saw it on Instagram. <laughs> Bro, you're not making. I am though. Get a granny and see. Better You gotta granny it. You gotta jump off the back for a fader. Fader, fader. He sucks. We're playing some Among Us, having a good time on Sans server here. We've got Sean, uh, Pro Lego Channel, uh, BFab, Ace, and Sans. Good times, good times. So, God, I love this. Um, I think Mandalorian comes out in three hours, so just killing time, basically. It's a fun time. So Sans and I got imposter, and it's always fun when that happens. But, um, you know... So there's that, and let me get this right when Sans is out, like that. Bang, 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 get all these. So the Mandalorian drops in one minute. It's 2.59. The Mandalorian last night was incredible. Um, I loved it, although the ending was telegraphed from a mile away. Like, it was no surprise that they beat the bad worm thing, and, you know, Mandalorian gets the armor and wins the day, and nobody dies at the end. I honestly didn't even think how I was gonna do this. I got music playing, so I can't. I have to move this chair, enjoy. So this is my stream setup. I got all my battle packs just kind of thrown about wherever they fit. And I have a box down here. I don't think it's gonna fit everything, but for all the parts uh, for the builds, I'm gonna keep them in their bags and put them down there. And so we have 250 people waiting right now. More battle packs over here, random clones. Got uh, some clones kind of set up already somewhat in the order I'm gonna try to fill them in. So these two base plates will be full of the regular file first here. And then this base plate will start filling up with jetpack troopers and the other ones will probably go back there or something. So. Yeah, I'm out of breath, sorry. But we are ready to go, so let me go live. Okay, action. You like jazz? No, shut up. Why did I even ask you? All right, so we're just wrapping on the uh, stream now. I got some people in chat, obviously. Uh, I built probably 40-ish battle packs. Josh is here too. He built some, brought I some Chick-fil-A. probably the fastest build of- He a... built this wrong. He built the other one wrong, and I had to f tell him it was wrong, and it was. Uh, it made me feel bad. These are all the boxes behind me that I, uh, I'm gonna, I'll bring those out later. Um, but I think we're gonna watch some Borat, so. I think that's going to be a wrap. So Josh and I just watched Borat. It was still really funny. Uh, we'll probably try to watch Borat too. One of these nights coming up. Uh, I need to put all these boxes in the recycling bin. I still have quite a few more sets to go. I might try to work on those while I chat with some friends this evening. So we'll see how much uh, I get done with that. But the army's coming together there. You can see how we're using this nickel to cover stuff or 
to keep the instructions down, but you can see it's coming together pretty well. So it's looking like an army. That's pretty sick, right? Like, damn, 501st troops. It's it's great, dude. It's honestly great. I can't remember what the daily deals were. Deals um, every there day. like five sets per day that we marked down for like 20% off. You like, know what? A, lot of, like, a lot of them, there were like sets that were going to be like discontinued, like Parisian Restaurant, Hulkbuster, um, Ninjago. <sighs> Many things you had to go through? Yeah, I'm on box 79 of the 100 that 105 that I was going to open today. Wow. We got a misprint. It's it's basically four times 80. So what's that? 320? Uh, yeah, roughly. Yeah, something like well, that. Lego, Lego, Lego. We That's got a misprint right. box. Oh, he's vlogging now. What? Dude, that is crazy. <laughs> hey, Ryan, make sure to tell about my luxury apartment that I'm opening. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, wait, can they hear us? Dude, that is awesome, though. Oh. You're break Sans, you're like... breaking the third wall. Who are they? What? They, the angels? I got a misprint. I'm excited. It took, uh, like, uh, 79 I boxes, plus the 13 I had already opened, like, I before, so. It took a lot, but, I yeah, I'm excited about this. So there's a regular versus a misprinted. It is Halloween now. My only plans for tonight are to join a LEGO stream, and then I'm also going to live stream PT on the PS4. That is going to be an absolute blast. But I put my misprint uh, in the army. I think I'm going to let him stay in there and see if people spot him. And well, I guess now that I said it, we're going to see him. But anyway, he's there. I'll probably move him. Um, and then I open the last three boxes I'm going to need to fill out all my lines. I'll have 300 total file first troopers. And then I'll also have 100 of these. So that'll be everything kind of filled out. And I can start setting up the rest of the army. I think that's that's pretty sick looking, huh? Basically found the hidden Lego stash back here. I guess this is all the stuff they didn't sell and couldn't put on clearance for whatever reason so it's just hiding back here and then dots all the same and we just got mail i think i might have got my wonder woman set or black widow set i keep mixing them up man i keep mixing them up so out here i was finally able to get rid of some stuff and therefore i have some extra space up here and i have some extra space over here i had to move stuff to get it out but <clears throat> finally this whole space is kind of empty obviously a lot of stuff that i took out is kind of empty but it's gonna go back kind of uh, some of the empty boxes will go up there so good extra storage space i was able to create today um i'm not even gonna bother cleaning that up because eventually i'm gonna move and I, don't know, I just don't feel like i need to bother cleaning anything right now so this is a big box of pab cups but uh yeah let's get this all filled in I've also gone and pulled out some of the October prizes because I got to get those together to uh, send off because I'm going to pick the winners probably tonight at midnight. I'm going to go through all the entries and see who won. So that's what's up with that. I'm pretty excited to, to pick those winners. So I think I need an A-Wing. I don't remember which one I'm giving away. I got to watch my video again. I'm on Brick Hive's Halloween stream. I got a bit of a costume going on with my thing here. Um, I wanted to uh, pile all these bags in a bag though so we're gonna try to get that a little cleaned up so i can actually put my table back where it needs to be because those bags and those in that box are gonna be fine i just need to get the rest of these off the ground my brother and i are playing pt uh we're streaming it on twitch i was playing a minute ago and it was scary i made him play i'll link the highlights down below if matthew wants to make some it's sunday november 1st which means it's probably time to take down my little lego halloween decorations i should get that done but we're going to the lego store today to get the han solo keychain uh like i mentioned earlier they started selling it two days early i called them again last night and they should still have it this morning so fingers crossed i don't show up and get nothing because i would be not happy but i think i gotta figure out something to do with these last like 15 battle packs just like put them somewhere probably out in the garage because i don't think i'm gonna build them for my clone army um and then i think today my uh, black widow set's gonna show up so we'll see about that but i have been waiting for that it's taken longer than expected and uh we're off to the lego store let's go get some stuff that i didn't want to buy oh i almost forgot the most important part i woke up and i was super hungry and i was like i'm gonna get breakfast before i go to the store and i was like let's get chick-fil-a and then i realized it was sunday and i almost cried i was driving down this road and i saw a thing and i gotta turn around real quick because y'all gotta see this i forgot to show you hey we can get colored mulch bags for two bucks baby all right through the dirt okay so my dad's friend works at a store here and he uh he put a little sign up for us check out the bad bricks podcast with colt's kicker lego rodrigo i thought that was pretty cool so yeah, I just, I don't know, I had to, had to drop by and show you guys that because we got the physical advertising for Bad Bricks Podcast. Pretty dope, huh? Oh, it just changed. Well, 
We're at the Lego store. I was finally, for the first time ever, getting 5G. I guess I just don't get 5G at my house or anywhere near there because I had not noticed it uh, prior. But as soon as I started recording, it went away. All right, how much are we betting on the fact that there's going to be a truck with their hood open? It's the hot air balloon. Oh my God. There's people in it too. That's kind of cool. No. Oh yeah, there's the hood. It's open. Why is it always open? This is the biggest conspiracy, I swear to God. So they got the new Sesame Street set at 18 plus. I'm not buying that. I will be buying some Star Wars stuff. And uh, the Haunted House. I don't know if I've seen that one yet on shelves. I think it's the first time I've ever seen it on shelves, but I don't think I'm gonna be getting any of this this stuff. I just, uh, just Star Wars for the day. Oh, I got the keychain. It's in the back right now. But um, the the thing is, <laughs> the baby Yoda that I wanted to like have a picture of or whatnot, um, wasn't there because apparently it only shows up on Mondays for Mando Mondays. I thought it was a really dumb thing that they only have it there on Mondays, but that's what it is, I guess. So I'll put up a picture of like the actual thing now. You can see what it would have looked like, but I unfortunately couldn't get footage of it because they're like, oh yeah, it's only here on Mando Mondays. I'm like, why would you only have it there on Mondays? It's the coolest thing ever. So as usual, I stupidly didn't film a lot while I was there, but what did I get? Well, I got six of these, even though the limit was five, which is stupid. It's a battle pack. And the lady was like, yeah, one time someone came in and bought 10, so we had to put a limit on it. And I was like, bro, it's a battle pack. Anyway, there seems to be some stigma with that. It's stupid and I want that to change. Um, so I, I got six of those. That was 90 bucks. And then I realized six battle packs is only $90. And so I got another Mandalorian battle pack. Um, so I've like quietly gotten up to like five or six of these, like one at a time, like every three months. But yeah, I think that's like a lot of Sith battle packs though, like 30 something. We got this free promo again, which I already have. I also got this free promo. I think I already have this one. I think I bought it at Legoland when I bought the Mandalorian Brickheads, but you know, free is free, I guess. I'll probably give it to someone. And then I ended up buying the White House because I said, screw it. Oh, what's this? Oh yeah, and I bought this too, the little seasonal thing, because I wanted to have all of the Christmas sets, kind of like I did with the Halloween sets, that I could do a Christmas video like I did with the Halloween video, but I bought the White House because, well, the election is in like two days, and I said, hey, if I'm ever going to make a video with something like that, because I wanted it anyway, I think the time is now, and then finally, alas, the smallest thing in here, I think, kind of, is this uh, keychain. We got a package from Amazon, and you know, personally, I love when my San Diego Comic-Con exclusives are shipped in plastic bags. So I don't know much about Black Widow, but I bought it anyway, because it's an exclusive rare limited edition San Diego Comic-Con set, and uh, no Comic-Con markings on it, though, you may notice, I'm like with the uh, Nebulon there. So I'm gonna build this, I'm gonna review it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, though, because I don't think I care that much about it. I also got this in the mail, which I wasn't planning on buying, Buying, but I think I got a stellar deal on it for a hundred bucks. I think it's actually 110 on eBay. Um, it's another little con exclusive. Like I was saying, 110 bucks for this just seemed like the right price and it's another box thing. I feel like I can set up uh, for the display behind me or whatever during videos. Dude, the Patriots actually suck. Watch running play for no yards. Oh my God, they got a first down. Bro, at the 10 yard line with 30 seconds left, he fumbles the ball. Great job, Cam Newton, way to go. I'm so glad I didn't buy his stupid jersey. Well, that's it for football season. Basketball season's over. Hockey season's over. Baseball season's over. So I guess I got two months of no sports. It's Monday now. Really nice day out. Window open and everything. But the power just went out. So that's a problem. Because I haven't done a thumbnail for the video yet. Looks like they're getting some construction work done next door. But beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, gonna go to the gym. I wasn't gonna go, but then, you know, screw it. Why am I not gonna go? It's Monday. I'm supposed to go. I haven't not gone on a Monday in like seven weeks. Just leaving LA. The basketball court's open again. Finally, it's been like, I don't know, eight months. I'm, I'm pumped. I'm probably just gonna come tomorrow just to shoot around and not lift weights. So that's great. Right now for people uh, watching the vlog, we are going through, Sean Sands and I are going through the, uh, the Mocktober submissions that I have narrowed down uh, as potential winners. So yeah. We'll see who wins. I'm currently building the White House, watching 24 on uh, Discord with some friends. So, good progress. Pretty happy with this. Slow build, but, you know, it's more fun when I get to watch something. So, Target.com put up some new LEGO Star Wars plushes, finally. 18 bucks a pop. But they're in stock in Vieira, so we're going to go there. Unfortunately, none of the stores have the Stormtrooper here, 
so maybe tomorrow the stores will have it um but right now i just say what the heck let's go get all three why not they close in an hour 15 so plenty of time to go just now rolling up to target uh, 904 we made it nice and easy pretty hyped um to hopefully get some plushes i'm gonna be disappointed if i can't find them because that means i gotta ask and talk to somebody but Fingers crossed it'll be easy. Hopefully, maybe I'll get lucky. They'll have the Stormtrooper. Who the hell knows? So they do have them. Unfortunately, they're not going to go out uh, on the floor for a few more days. And then um, I'll be able to get them. I'll see if they show up online to like order to my house before then. But I'm sure one, or, one way or the other, I will get them by the end of the week. Um, they don't have any sets that I really want. Like Final First Battle Pack and everything gone, of course. Even though it's actually on sale. So if you do uh, come across them, they are on sale at Target. But it'll be ending at the end of the week. So... That won't be for long so it is what it is they're also on sale on amazon but they aren't in stock on amazon so it doesn't really matter either but all right don't really need anything so i guess we'll dip i just scheduled ask him and our finished everything literally two minutes before it goes up a little behind on the day but i have some packages let's see what's in them that middle one is very heavy and the one on the right i actually literally ordered yesterday when i was at the gym and it showed up less than 24 hours later uh from ebay so huge shout out to that seller so this is what i ordered yesterday <laughs> literally showed up today i think i got it for 110 bucks sealed in box and it's another one of those sets that i own but i saw it for a really good deal and one day i will be able to review that and so i got it for what i think is a pretty damn good price especially given that i feel like they usually go for like 150 so i was like hey yeah let's let's grab it while we can and dude i just cannot believe it literally showed up in less than 24 hours that's so abnormal I love it. Um, this box over here, I was like, what the heck is this? It is a, these two are actually from Europe. And you know, the poly bags aren't really why I bought this. I bought this because it has a very special and what I believe to be rare uh, piece of Lego Star Wars history. And that is a McDonald's Happy Meal, like Lego Star Wars Captain Rex box p and only thing i believe and i believe it is what all of these poly bags came in so they actually like gave these out um through like the mail or something i don't know exactly but it was like a captain rex poly bag thing and i don't see any mcdonald's markings on it or anything so i guess it's not for mcdonald's but yeah basically it's like a happy meal box but it came with poly bags instead that would have fit inside there originally so i thought that was a really cool thing to have and something that i just don't see for sale so maybe if you see one grab one but uh yeah it was like 27 bucks for the whole thing i was like done so for this next box i paid about 100 us dollars and within is something that you can't get in america either and that is a ton of lego star wars trading cards um so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. And apparently there's some extra rare ones. So um, basically in each pack, uh, I think, you know, this is series two. I think that in each pack, it says there are, gosh, how many cards? So there's 202 total cards. There's 25 packs per box. And I just don't know how many cards come in a pack, right? So, and you tell me probably a few, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna do some opening videos on these and I was really excited to do that. I wish they sold these in America, but they don't. But yeah, we have uh, some Lego Star Wars trading card booster packs, something you just don't see. I'm excited. All right, I bought these <clears throat> not to have them, so pick one. Ooh. Uh, the clone one you can't get in America, or wasn't available in America. I remember all these. What do you mean? The clone one. It wasn't? No. Okay, yeah. With the walker. My only fear is this thing isn't going to stand up very well. Your only fear should be that it doesn't have a printed face. Ooh. Nah, <laughs> I don't really mind that. I mind the one that from it... 2003 did, though. It was way better. I mind that it won't stand up on my desk. Yeah, I'll find it with the Star I'm pretty sure it would stand, but... Yeah, this one I'm going with. Star Destroyer? Let's see. Oh my god, you did it. You got a $2 Lego set. <laughs> Call me Mr. Beast. White House review is done, and this has found its resting place in the garage on election night of all things. So yeah, this will be something I'll display when I have my own house and whatnot. But for now, um, it goes to the resting place that a lot of sets have found this year. So not a bad spot for it for now, though.